All right, I'm gonna be working on the seat again tonight. It's uh, it's late in the evening. It's about 11:30 now, so we're, we're gonna work the night shift again. And uh, you know, I was I was happy the way the seat turned out. You know, and uh, remember, it's only a truck, and it's only gonna be a, a driver, a daily driver. But for another five, ten dollars, and another hour's work, I can make this pretty much perfect. Cause now. This the seat came out way better than I wanted to or even thought it would come out. And it's now become the focal point of the interior, so anybody that looks at it, you know, they're they're gonna look at it and uh, scrutinize everything. So I think I'm gonna take it to to the next level. You know, like the back here, you know, the back is uh I left I left a little space where the foam is because of the seat, you know, the seat comes out six inches and in the back here I didn't run run the fresh foam all the way to the back so even though it's not going to be seen I can get a little practice and uh, see what I can actually do with this thing we can turn this into a, a, a bench seat for a Porsche and it'll give me a little more experience and uh, that's what we're going to do like I say for another five hours and uh, another I got I got the some scrap foam I could put in there and cut so uh, we're going to do that we're going to we're going to step it up a notch and even on the sides, you know, where the, where this gets pulled down and, and wrapped around, I'm gonna uh, put uh, fill in fill in the the soft areas and puff them out a little bit because uh, I bought some of this uh, Dacron, this 100% uh, polyester, and uh, that'll fill in some of the, the spots. And I think I can think we can bring this up another uh, another notch, and uh, I think. Uh, I think it'll look look better. At least no, nobody will notice but me. But you know, I think uh, I could use the experience. So let me put you on a tripod and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right. Like here's a, here's a good example where I can I can make it better. You know, like here's this is where the the top of the seat is going to sit. There's a little a little uh, screw that sticks out of here and leans up against there and. Uh, you see, like right now, there's a little space here. So if I fill that in with a little bit of a uh, little bit of Dacron, it would be nice. You know, what I mean, it would look good. You see, I could take this and fold this like this, and bring this down here, and pull this, pull everything nice and tight, and you know, hog ring it down here, and it would look okay. You know, I mean, it would pass. It would, it would you know, what I mean, once it's stretching, everything it'll look fine. But you know, if I fill that little gap in with just a little, just a little bit of Dacron, I'm just shoving it in there for now. But uh, we can make a, a nice, smooth transition there, and uh, you know, it's just, it's just that much better, you know. And uh, and I learned something. So if I ever did get a seat that had to be done right, you know, I'd have the experience and I'd know exactly what to do. So, so that's what we're gonna do. So for now. Let's take this off and uh, let me get some foam and uh, we'll start back here and, and fill in this uh, this area here that that we didn't do before. Okay. All right. Yeah, I cut some uh, scrap foam out and uh, we'll fill that in right now. Let me see if I can find some foam. There we go. Get some foam spray. You know what? Let me put some paper down so I'll make a mess here and get the rest of this foam off for the slot. I got it all laid out here. So spray this. Spray this. Spray this. And this. Alright. I don't know if I have enough here, it feels like it maybe. Should turn my air on, huh? I didn't think this would have enough strength to push that uh, foam out of the way. Get a little 
little sloppy here. There we go. I had a piece of uh, old adhesive there. It was. Uh, I guess I could have turned the nozzle, huh? Hmm. Huh. Well. stick it down to itself. Alright, we turned the air on so if uh, the compressor kicks on, don't let it scare you. together, make it warm. All right. Last time, oh yeah, yay. All right. Well, I'm gonna put two two pieces on the edges, and then. Uh, We'll get the knife out and we'll cut that. We'll shape that a little bit. All right, don't go too far. All right, I was gonna go at it from the other end, but I think it's it's easier to go at it from this end because uh, I can I can actually see the back and and by riding this along here, it uh, it sort of gives me uh, a guide. So bear with me here. We're gonna, we'll figure this out together. Put the brake on. Start rolling. All right. So uh, that'll be okay. All right, let me finish this up and we'll turn this back on. I don't want to waste all your time on that.
Yeah, I got that trimmed down to, to where I like it. I mean, it looks like hell, but it actually feels good. And uh, when we put the, the Dacron on there, you know, it's going to be a, a beautiful, smooth transition. This thing's going to have so much uh, padding and foam on there. I'm going to have to put a sunroof in there just so I can, uh, my head don't hit the ceiling. So, uh, all right, here's the plan. I don't know which way. To, I guess I'll show you over here. The plan is, you see how rough and raggedy that looks? We put some polyester on there. It smooths everything out. So uh, the plan is, I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put about two layers on a side. You know that'll cover up this mess and this uh, seam here. So uh, I'm going to put two layers on the side here, and then uh, just uh, one across the whole top and down the front. So uh, that should be good. And then we can uh, we can add as needed once we start. Uh, hog ringing it together and then of course we'll we'll uh, put some of that cotton batting back here to go around the edge and then that'll go around there to protect our uh, upholstery so all right yeah, it's looking good so uh, let me uh, glue some stuff to the sides there and uh, we'll continue on all right all right, all right. yeah I stuck uh, two layers of polyester on the side here and uh, it looks pretty good and on the other side here too, you know, this stuff compresses pretty good, so, uh, you know, boy, it covers a multitude of sins, huh? You guys are probably getting uh, snow blind here with all this white, but, uh, all right, we like that, we like the way that feels. I'm going to try, I'm going to put it on for, try it on for size. Uh, don't forget, we're going to put a, one piece across the top, front to back, and all the way under, so it'll, it'll cover all the seams that we just made, so, uh, let me throw you guys up on a tripod and uh, we'll see what it looks like just for fun. Alright, we got you concentrated over here on this side here because you can't really get the whole uh, seat in. But uh, see back here? This here is just a paper towel wrapped around the, the painted metal here so I don't get the glue all over that because that that's already been painted up. Alright, I gotta go over here and get the, the seat cover. Can you hear me? I'm still here. better already. It's gonna have it's gonna have to pull back a little bit here. A little too far forward yet, yeah, way too forward. Okay, that's gonna be right about there. Alright, let's see what it looks like. Alright. Yeah when I did the other side I uh, I had the the polyester coming up a little higher so I'm gonna have to fill in right here. I feel a little bit a gap there, so I'm going to fill out a little section in there, and then we'll just put a piece across the top there. So, uh, yeah, that, that looks so much better. As well worth five hours. All right, let's uh, let me fix this little corner here, and then we'll uh, we'll cover the whole top. All right, I got the Dacron laid out the way I want it, and I uh, I trimmed it all out. So uh, now I'm going to spray. I'm just going to spray half. Uh, you're only going to see uh, this half of the, the seat anyway, so uh, let's do it and see what I mean. See, I uh, got this trim pretty much the way I like it, so uh, let's flip this back. I guess I'm pretty sure I got it where I want it, so uh, let's spray this up. Spray over here. You guys ain't gonna see it, but I'm spraying over here.
My fellow Sebi, you'll probably hear it. Alright. I thought I was sticking in the car, but uh, we put pair of alligator clips grab me in the hiney. Stuff's fourteen dollars a can. You know what? You hate to waste it. What? You gotta use it, right? Alright. I'm gonna have to walk in front of you here. Sorry about that. stuck to it, but uh, that's okay. All right, I don't think I went back far enough right here. Oh, look at that one. We're ripping it up. Okay. I need to put a little more uh, a little more juice on it. Most of this up top don't have to get it because we're going to wrap under. But uh, we'll get it anyway. Take two. All right. Probably don't need 100% because uh, it's going to hold itself in place when you put, them, put the cover on. That's better, huh? Let me dick around with this a little more and uh, get it sticking where we want it. Alright. Alright. Yeah, we're all glued down. Let's, uh, let's get the diaper here and uh, try it on for size. So bring us all the way back for this one piece to touch the back. And now I've got to come to this side. And this one's got to touch. Okay. Let's see how it looks. Oh yeah, look at that. You guys see that? Much nicer. And this goes down. It's going to go down here like this. I'm just gonna come back here like this. And look at that. That's gonna make a nice, gonna make a nice transition. Let's see what looks like out here. Gotta hold it back. Gotta hold it back here. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let me, uh, let me put a clean towel on this thing, and then we'll flip this thing over and uh, maybe start uh, hog ringing it. Right. All right. All right. Yeah, it's the next day, and uh, I uh, I got the cover on here, and I I, I got it uh, held in a place where I want it, you know, with some clamps and uh, one hog ring here. And uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to see where where exactly I want it, and then take the fabric and and fold it. I'll probably double fold it. 
to right where I want it. I think I want to bring it to this this straight bar right here. So I'm going to fold it where I want and then staple it the fabric in place and then uh, make a mark and then bring it inside and make a channel there and send a piece of a coat hanger through there so I have something that I can uh, hog ring to. And same with up here. You know, I left 12 inches on the, on the back and the front, and on the back here, it's plenty. And then on the front, I thought it was going to be plenty, but uh, it's going to be just, just barely enough. So uh, we'll be okay. But that's what we're going to do. And uh, this video is going to get pretty long, so uh, I'm probably not going to show you that. I'm going to bring it, like I said, I'm going to bring it in there and... Uh, so uh, sew the channel on both sides. I, I don't know. I don't think I want to sew a channel on the side here. I think I'm just going to fold that and 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 crimp that in place. We'll see. So uh, all right, let me do that, lay that out, and then we'll uh, we'll sew a channel in there. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it, but uh, it might be a little noisy in here because uh, I'm going to leave the heat on and I'm going to crank it up. I'm going to get it to about 80 degrees in here. And because that's uh, that's going to help this this vinyl uh, get a little more flexible. You know, it actually, it feels pretty good right now. So maybe you know it's about 75. So I think we put it we put it around 80. It'll be uh, it'll keep that nice and supple. So all right. So uh, don't worry too much about the noise. All right. Yeah, we made a little pocket here, a little channel and uh, put a piece of coat hanger in there all the way down matter of fact I even I even doubled up on it you know so uh, and put a hog ring in there it has plenty of meat to uh, bite into a little overkill but uh, hey what the heck right didn't cost anything all right we throw on there and uh, see what we can do with it all right here we put a little cotton bat batting back here where the metal was and then uh, up here just a little uh, gorilla tape cloth cloth gorilla tape just to to ease the pressure there from the metal so uh, yeah we're going to do the back first we're going to bring it back up and uh, see that's about it's about an inch away so we're going to have to stretch it stretch it to this one here and I think we'll put put about 10 or 12 uh, hog rings in here. That's about uh, every other spring, and uh, that should be good. And uh, that'll hold it in place. And then we can we can stretch the front to where it has to be. So uh, let's do it. Let's give it a try. I uh, I might not be able to let you guys see that. You know, I have to go get the tripod, but uh, we'll see. All right. Yeah, they seem to be going in okay. I notice these hog rings don't have a a point on them like uh, uh, the other ones I've used before you know they're they're like blunt but uh, they're doing it they're getting it let's see if we can do this here on camera alright there we go here we go yeah let's try it again let's try one more I don't know if you notice, I got a rubber band on here because these here, they got a spring on them and they stay open. So, it's, you know, it's easy to put the the hog ring in there, but if you're fiddling around and farting around, then it falls out. So, put a rubber band on here, and uh, it helps you out a little bit. See that? You gotta be gotta be smarter than your tools. All right, let's try and put another one in here. I guess it helps if you got big hands, because my hand just barely, uh, just barely gets around that when it's uh, got a ring in there. All right, let me, uh, let me see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, yeah, we'll use about ten. So let me put them in, and then uh, 
We'll go around the front and pull that tight. All right, don't go away. All right, yeah, I got the back all done, and uh, that looks good. I didn't, I didn't deal with around the feet there yet, but uh, we'll figure it out. All right, yeah. Got to pull this up. This here got the little uh, little piece of wire that you can hook it to. You know, it's uh, designed for that. They're welded right on there, so that's that's going to make it easier. You know, over here it was tough to get under. This one here should be easy. And uh, you know, they got the metal bar here, but this foam when I pull the bottom up, that'll come up up against that, and then this uh, foam will come up over that. So. It won't be any metal touching the fabric, so let's uh, let's go around here and see what we can do. Put the brake on this thing. All right, make it a little stable. All right, we got our center line here. Line it up with our frame. Probably could have made it a little tighter, but hey, it is what it is, right? I'm telling you. King's hands are killing him. He used to have, he used to have pretty good grip. Oh, look at that. Got a chain. We got a chain going here. I couldn't have done that if I tried. You know what's nice about this? You can grab it either way. I'm going to grab it this way this time. There we go. That gives me that gives me a little better grip by grabbing it uh, that way. Let's do it one more time, right? That was fun. You guys having fun? Seems to be working pretty good. It feels good. Let me come around here and see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Woo! You guys see that? Let me lift that up for you. As smooth as a baby's honey. I like it. I'm liking it. Alright. I'm gonna finish this up. I don't want you guys to have too much fun, so uh, let me finish putting the, the rest of these in there, then we gotta deal with the sides. Alright. Yeah, I got the, all the hog rings in the front and back there, and uh, looks nice, nice and taut here. So uh, now I got to mess with the sides and the feet here. Yeah, with the feet here, it looks like uh, I should be able to, to cut this and maybe fold it under, and uh, maybe hold that in place with a piece of uh, wire. You know, this one here, this one here looks a little, a little easier. Or even glue it, maybe glue it down there. I don't know, but you don't see it, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's under the seat. And then, uh, I could hog ring this in, because this is that reinforced uh, piece here. I could uh, pull that all the way down and do that, but uh, this here is going to take a lot of dicking around, so uh, I'll put you up on a tripod and uh, we'll flip it over and uh, see what it looks like. You know, if it looks good, then we'll, we'll continue on. All right. All right. I put you back here, maybe you can see a little better. Uh, yeah, this is the back, so it's a little lumpy here, but uh, that's because that's uh, I want to protect that, that fabric, but that's okay. It's up against the back of the crab, you're able to see that. All right, they're just my side clamps here. Way to be sitting. Yeah, the top looks nice. Yeah, this looks good. Even this corner looks good. Pull this under. That looks real good. But the top, I'm not the way the top looks. Alright, let me pull you around the side here. I'm going to show you off for a second. 
All right. Even over here, I thought this was going to be a problem area. This is where that the the seat back hits up against here. So I, I designed this so this should be able to go under here like that. And then we fold this in. Fold this down like this. And bring this back. And there we go. You know? And there's only so much you can do with that. But I think that'll look okay. Like I say, there's going to be a piece of metal right here too. So you're not going to see this little hole. But uh, look at that. That looks like that'll, that'll work out good. Looks like the only one I probably might have is right here in the corner. Where, where it's all gathering, so, uh, alright, it's going to take me a while to dick around with all that, and, uh, it's getting late, so I'm going to go out and get something to eat, and, uh, I'm going to finish this up, then I'll, I'll, I'll just give you a look and show you what it looks like, maybe I'll even throw it in the truck just to keep, get it out of the way so it doesn't get dirty, alright, we'll see you after dinner, alright, yeah, we finished up, uh, hog clipping, uh, hog ringing this, uh, thing together, and, uh, I think it came out great. The corners, I had to get the road queen to help me uh, sew the corners here. This isn't going to get seen, there's going to be a piece of uh, metal in the way there, but uh, I think she did a great job there. Same with over here. It was tough because there wasn't any material, you know, there was only Christ, less than a quarter of inch of material there, so uh, she did pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out in the truck and just uh, sit it in there just to get it out of the way. And uh, I think I think it turned out great. So, uh, all right, we'll see you outside. It's a little uh, gloomy out, but uh, it's not raining or nothing. It did earlier, but uh, right now it seems to be okay. So, all right, we'll see you outside. See what it looks like in the truck. All right, a little gloomy out here, but uh, Road Queen just helped me put the seat in. Not that it's that heavy, but it's just big and awkward. And uh, I'm loving it, man. Look at that. And then you look at it at certain angles, and you know, the side's nice and smooth. Top is nice and smooth, and the front, I'm happy. Yeah, if I had paid 1500 bucks to have that done, I wouldn't have any complaints at all. So, uh, I think it's going to look good, because I'm going to put the back in and uh, get the rug in. There's a piece of uh, aluminum that goes here. i got to clean up. Matter of fact, it's right here. I was trying it on for size. See that goes on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, it looks a little funky because it's dirty, but uh, my plans are to polish this up. And this little inset here, this little groove, I'm going to get this uh, material and put that material in there and then hold it in with finishing screws. And uh, I think it's going to look great, so uh, that's good. Yeah, I'm looking at it, man. It, there's plenty of cushioning there. It looks like there's not much room uh, between the steering wheel and everything, but I was sitting there and uh, plenty of room, plenty of room. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the other side. Look, even where Road Queen uh, sewed it down here, man, it looks beautiful. You can't, you can't even see it. I'm loving it. Come on around, come on around here. Get my little piece of aluminum here and put it in there. See what it looks like. Yeah, even down here, you know, Road Queen was worried it wasn't going to look good, you know. There's only there's only so much you can do with this little uh, cutout here, and I think she did a great job. And like I say, there's a little uh, stud that goes there. Matter of fact, I can put it in now. And uh, the little stud keeps the seat from going back any further, you know, you can adjust it. But uh, I'm loving it, I'm loving it, so uh, let me know what you guys think. i got to get Mike, got to get Mike over here to... Uh, finish uh, electrifying me and uh, we'll be good to go all right let me go get these little pieces see what they look like all right you know, we put the little adjustment screws in there for the back of the seat so it doesn't uh, wrap up against the gas tank and uh, i'm liking it in fact i'm loving it let me check the other one out come on come on yeah buddy i even indexed them but you're not going to see that. There's going to be a piece of metal in front of it. So, all right. Let me know what you guys think, good or bad. And uh, what do you say? Enough of this? All right. See you later.